Oh, hey, hey. Oh, wait, hi. I remember you. You're a game for you, right? Yes, and you are Sydney. I've, I've seen you on YouTube, I think. Yes. Um, hey. So. What's up? Uh, well, not much. Do you remember us 4 by 4 we built earlier? Uh, yeah, I, I think I do. Okay, so it? here's the thing. It doesn't work in the newest version. It's kind of broken. Oh. So, well, uh, yeah. Uh, Too bad, I guess. Uh, I, mm, I have an idea, though. Oh, right? all right. Wanna yes, hear? I want to hear. I want to hear. It's actually quite good. <laughs> hmm. You see that empty space behind me? Right there? Dude, there's empty space, like, like literally everywhere. Oh. Yeah, but mm, it's not the same, okay? You see that right there? Yeah, right behind yeah that specific one. Yes, that specific empty space. What about it? Let's build a new one, right there. Don't you think? Ooh, huh? that's a good idea. I think that's a really good idea, man. Yes, let's go! Let's right now. Okay guys, so this is the final product. We know it doesn't really look like much, but uh, yeah, it's super duper small and in perfect sync, which is great. Yeah, it's actually only 2x9x10, by by which is 180 blocks, and that's absolutely ridiculous. So, we'll just look at it here, so that's the closing right there. Closing, and I'll open it. So, as you can see, the top and the bottom, as well as the sides, are completely in sync with each other. And, well, you couldn't really ask for anything better. It's really small and super sync. Yes, and so uh, now uh, we are both going to do a tutorial on either one of our channels. So uh, if there's something you don't understand on the current channel that you're watching this, why not go ahead and check out the other person's channel and see what they have done for that tutorial. All right. Uh, so, yeah. so, yeah, let's just build. All right, so here we are. So the space you need is only 10 by 2, which is quite ridiculous. Now, I'm going to be building it so that the door is going to go in these blocks. So here's your door frame. It's uh, two blocks below, or two blocks above, I guess. It's more appropriate. And your door is going to go in this space. So if you want to have the short side out, remember to flip it around. Alright, so our input is gonna go right here, and it's gonna be a lever input. So <coughs> we'll start out by building our layout. So it's gonna have four pistons along the bottom to control the bottom blocks, a storage piston, uh, a double extender. This is right up against the border here. Have a piston there, four pistons along the top, piston right there right there for storage and our other double extender on the other side now if I'm going too fast just feel free to pause the video whenever I tend to go too fast but I try my best anyways so now that we have our door frame let's actually start wiring up some stuff so first thing we want to do is to push these blocks out right here we we'll do that with this dust right here and we're gonna have an observer Facing up right, uh, right there. Now, in order to activate this, we're gonna have a piston right there that's gonna power it. And we're gonna power that through this block. Uh, now, we're gonna have a hopper here. I'm gonna use that later, but just place it there. And I'll explain why we need that later. And this is this just powers those pistons. Now, we also want to get our signal up and also power our storage pistons. Now, we get our signal up like this, block on top of this, and a redstone repeater right there into this dust. So, right there. Now, that's also going to power this, you might notice. Oh, 
lock there as well, so power this piston. Now this should power this storage piston, but we also need to power the bottom storage piston on. Yes. So we do that right here. Let's place an obsidian there so it doesn't mess up. Let's place an server facing this way. See, it also powers this. Um, right, let's place a block in here. Actually, not. let's not do that yet. There's a piston here, a hopper, so we're gonna need it later. A two tick repeater into this. Now, this is gonna be our main part of the closing. See if it does that. And it should also be main part of the opening as well. Now we need our double extender and to power this bottom piston there. Now, in order to power this, we're gonna have a block right here. I'm gonna place an observer here, so make sure that the power side goes into this hopper. Now, a little known thing is that observers actually detect uh, the state of the hoppers changing, so when hoppers get powered, they actually s make the observers power. And we can do this the same way here, so that this actually takes this one being powered. Observers too can also be detected, so we detect the observer like that, and we power this one like so. Now that should power all the pistons around completely in sync. And now all we need is our second pulse in the closing and our double extender. So just get some, get a hopper and a dropper. Place a dropper right there. Place an item inside of this. And we're gonna get a slab, a comparator facing out of that, taking power from this hopper, then to here. So this is gonna have enough delay so that we can actually power our thing like so. This is part of the first part of the double extender. So now we need two pulses. And there's a ridiculously small amount of space in here, but we can do it. So we're gonna have a oh, another hopper dropper right here. Now it might seem that this goes to nowhere, and well, that's sort of correct, but it's wrong at the same time. So, the reason why we have this here is that observers can detect droppers being powered. So, we're gonna power the pistons out here, through this block here, and this is not gonna happen in the closing, because there's not a block here. So it's only gonna happen in the opening when the blocks are actually up here. Now, as well as this, we need to power this one, this piston right here, and the other edge. We're gonna do that from below. Three tick repeater. Uh, I mean, an observer facing this way. Hello. Uh, and repeater facing that way. Now, amazingly, or that should be the entire side, or the entire thing. And that, that happens, but it won't happen when you have the other side installed. So, so we go, we have our thing. Now, the door is the exact same on the other side, but I'm gonna build it nevertheless. So let's just build this. So it's over, boom, boom. So I'm going through this really fast as it's the exact same, just mirrored. But I'll do a quick, uh, I'll build it still on video so that you can if there's anything you missed, then you might catch it now. So, server, sit in, three to computer, server. Oops. That can happen. Uh, just move it back down if that happens. Uh, let's just, ah, let's just take it from here instead. So let's go up to this. this up, that right there, uh, that should be it, 
Let's test it out to see if it works. Oops, I forgot an item. Haha. <laughs> did I also forget an item in the other one? Yeah, I did. The only reason why this item is here, by the way, is so it doesn't make a sound, because we don't want to be clicking. So here we go. It works. Uh, it's also worth noting that this block right here has to be solid. If this is a transparent block, this door will not work, so it has to be a solid block. But apart from that, everything should be fine. Alright, so... It works. And... That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.